Welcome into this Charleston County Citizen Service Spotlight, and we are joined by Joseph Debney, who's the Executive Director for the Charleston County Board of Elections and Voter Registration. And we have a pretty big election coming up here. First thing people need to know is when do they need to be registered to vote in order to vote in November? It's a great question because that deadline is coming up very quickly, and that deadline will be Saturday, October 8th. It normally ends on a Saturday. And it's okay for voters because we will accept any postmark application on that date to our office. So you can do it prior to that by coming into our office or go to scvotes.org and do it online or mail it in to us and we'll accept the Saturday, uh, October 8th postmark. Okay, and the years where we have a presidential election, generally speaking, the numbers tend to increase quite a bit. So we've taken steps to make sure people can not only get to the polls on election day, but get to the polls beforehand. Three absentee sites. When do those start and where are they at? When they start is a little split up. So we have three sites. One is Azalea Church of Christ, and that will open from October 10th, and it will end on November 7th. That's our first one. Our second one is Seacoast Church West Ashley at the end of 526. That will open on October 24th and run through November 4th. Mm -hmm. And then the last one is Seacoast Church in Mount Pleasant. It will also open October 24th and end November 4th. The hours on those are 830 to 5. Okay, and in, in your experience, people, if you want to vote absentee, get out there that first week. Right. Weeks one through three are the best weeks to come out. Week four, we're, we're normally seeing about 10,000 people go out. So if you want to not stand in a line, I would go weeks one through three. And on the subject of uh, absentee voting, SC Votes has also provided a new app for citizens to use. Can you kind of walk us through how that works? Right. So if you, if you go to their website, you'll see a little, in, a little link to this app. Or if you call our office, we can send you the information to it. But if you look it up, it'll give you, and you stick your information into it, it'll give you where you vote on election day. It'll give you our address, our phone number, so you can contact us your sample ballot that is specific to you, and also a button that you can vote absentee so you can go through that process on your phone and send us a request for an absentee ballot right on your phone. So to clarify, you can't actually vote on your phone, but you can start the process to receive an absentee That's ballot correct. in the mail. You cannot vote on your phone, but you can, pro you can send that information to us in order for us to get you an absentee ballot. Okay. Now, in terms of the general election, we are still looking for poll managers. It's a big election, and we certainly expect there are going to be some lines, but the more help you have, the quicker you can process. That's voters. right. So normally what we want to have in a presidential year is around 1,300 poll workers. We, we are going to need somewhere around six to 700 more in order to meet that goal. Um, so we're steadily recruiting. We want people to sign up. They can go, again, online. They can go to vote.charlestoncounty.org. They can call our office at 744-VOTE, um, or they can come right on in at 4367 Headquarters Road in North Charleston, and we'll get them an application, we'll sign them up for training, and then we'll have them out on Election Day working the polls. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time, and uh, we look forward to a successful election season.